You're watching Cover to Cover, our guide to the Sikh and Punjabi books that you need to read. Before we take a look at this week's book, Parastara Prasna by Professor Kapoor Singh, let's hear from another one of our viewers talking about one of their favourite books. One of my favourite books is The 4 Hour Work Week by Tim Ferriss. It's about learning to cut down the number of hours you spend on your career so you can spend more time doing more valuable things in your life. Um, I really recommend that you pick it up and read it because when I read it for the first time it really changed the way that I looked at my life and the world around me and I just couldn't put it down because it was so well written. Parasara Prasna is a book by Professor Kapoor Singh, the one-time national professor of Sikhism. Uh, this particular edition was edited by Piyar Singh and Madanjeet Kaur and was published in 2001. The book was first published in 1959, having been completed some five years earlier. But this particular edition is now the third revised edition of the book um, and the revisions were undertaken by Guru Nanak Dev University from Amritsar. This edition published in 2001 was some 15 years after the author had passed away. The subtitle reads The Bisakhi of Guru Gobind Singh, which pretty much sums up the subject matter of what you will read. The book was the result of a number of lengthy discussions between the author, Professor Kapoor Singh, and his longtime scholarly friend, Siri Sardari Lal Parasara. The conversations were initiated by a question put to the author about how Sikhi was distinct from the umbrella fold of Hinduism. This particular edition of the book is one of the more recent copies and as you can see it's very well presented, it's in a nice hardbound edition which is very good for when you're trying to read from it and study from it because it is some 300 pages worth of text. Uh, there are 13 chapters and a number of additional sections including a bibliography, a subject index, a general index and there are prefaces to um, all three of the different editions um, and including the original introduction to the first edition. This is all quite interesting because it explains how the book is different from the original that came out and the original had a number of mistakes that were due to um, printer errors. There are also a handful of images printed out in black and white at the beginning of the book. There's a key to transliteration which becomes incredibly important because each chapter is illustrated with numerous footnotes, um, many of which include original scriptural uh, text. So there are, um, there are references to the Fateh Nameh, uh, references to the Pant Prakash, the Guru Granth Sahib, etc, etc. So you have Sanskrit presented, you have Persian, uh, you have uh, Gurmukhi script as well. There are a number of interesting chapters that explain the characteristics of the Khalsa and Sikhi as a whole, such as a Sikh and a Singh, the Church and the State, the Sikh Raj, the Hindu caste and Sikhism, and a chapter elucidating what the Ardas or the Sikh congregational prayer is. On the inside cover, this book is depicted as being an inquiry into the genesis and unique character of the order of the Khalsa with an exposition of the Sikh tenets. And that perfectly describes and depicts what this book is and who it's for. This is not particularly light reading. However, it is a book that I believe every single Sikh should aim to read at some point in their life and specifically every person who considers taking Amrit or joining the Khalsa order. We want to know what you think, so please leave a comment below. Tell us what you think of Parasara Prasna, the Basakhi of Guru Gobind Singh by Professor Kapoor Singh. Join us again for another edition of Cover to Cover, our guide to the Sikh and Punjabi books that you need to read.